Meanwhile, with the November midterms nearly just a month away, the abortion debate is once again making headlines. Many Democratic candidates and their political action committees are pooling in funds for the abortion-centered ads. In battleground states, and our correspondent Susan Tehrani gets you this report from New York. Take a look. Ever since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, the question has been, what will be its effect on the midterm elections? This election is about reproductive freedom. If you care about this, you need to turn out and vote. Expressions of Democratic candidates and their super PACs have spent nearly $18 million to air more than 100 abortion-centered broadcast TV ads in some four dozen battleground states as of the end of September. Three times what they spent on abortion in the 2018 general election. Even as the GOP attacks the party's performance on the economy and crime, inflation included, Democrats hope abortion may sway undecided voters to look past their pocketbooks. Here is an ad by Michigan Democrat Representative Dan Akildi taking aim at his opponent's pro-life stance. Never think it'll happen to you, but I was brutally raped in my own apartment. Weeks later, I started hemorrhaging and an abortion saved my life. So when Paul Young called abortion made up rights for women, I was personally disgusted. Young would outlaw abortion even in cases of rape, incest, or the health of the mother. Who is Paul Young to tell me what I can and cannot do after I was raped? I'm Dan Kildee and I approve this message. Kildee's opponent, Paul Young, mainly focuses on the economy, secure borders, and criticizes his Democrat rival for supporting, quote, socialism and taxpayer funding of abortions. Vulnerable Democrats in other parts of the country are trying out similar messages in central Virginia and Pennsylvania, to name a few. The vast majority of Americans are pragmatic and moderate, with fewer than 20 percent identifying as very liberal or very conservative. And Americans broadly all want the same thing, safety, economic security, and a return to post-pandemic normalcy. While abortion is important, it's yet to be seen whether or not it will sway undecided and independent voters come November 8th. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On. World is one.